Tonight, the solar system faces a moment that could rewrite the rules of cosmic discovery. 3. I slash Atlas, only the third interstellar visitor ever confirmed, will skim past Mars at 0.19 astronomical units. But as Earth's telescopes go blind behind the Sun, only a handful of Mars orbiters stand between us and the unknown. Already, this object's emerald green coma, surges of carbon dioxide, and pulsing brightness have baffled every expert, hinting at something nature never intended. Is this the strangest comet in history, or undeniable proof of something engineered, something alien? Six hours remain. The answers racing through those orbiters may change everything we think we know, unless the mystery slips away forever. Six hours. That's the length of the window before Earth's view of Threat's eye slash Atlas vanishes behind the sun. At 0.19 astronomical units, about 28 million kilometers, the interstellar visitor will pass Mars, but every ground-based telescope on Earth is blind. The blackout isn't a technical glitch or a failure of planning. It's geometry. Mars, for a brief span, becomes the solar system's only vantage point. Inside the MAVEN control center, the so-called Red Watch crew takes the lead. These are the operators trained for contingency, the ones who run decision ladders for every possible anomaly. In the hours before the blackout, they rehearse rapid switches between standard science and burst mode spectroscopy ready to pivot if a sudden flare or debris alert crosses their screens. Every command is logged. Every data packet gets a redundant copy. The schedule is merciless. Three orbiters, NASA's MAVEN, ESA's Mars Express, and the joint ESA, Roscosmos ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, are the only eyes left. Each spacecraft's power and telemetry budgets are stretched to the limit, with observation slots negotiated down to the minute. MAVEN's ultraviolet spectrograph is tuned to catch faint signatures of CO2, CN, and the green glowing coma. Mars Express repoints its SPICAM and Omega spectrometers, squeezing every second of sensitivity from aging hardware. ExoMars TGO, with its Nomad and ACS suites, scripts custom slews, pushing tracking software to follow a target moving faster than any Mars orbiter was built to handle. No one can intervene once the blackout begins. Commands must be preloaded, fail-safes checked, and thermal margins respected. If a burst of debris threatens, Mars Express is ready to switch into safe observe mode. If the sun's glare creeps too close, Maven's autonomy will abort the sequence to protect the spacecraft. Every decision is a gamble, science versus survival, risk versus reward. For these six hours, the fate of the observation, and perhaps a new chapter in cosmic history, rests on the ability of a handful of orbiters and their teams. A string of unexplained signals has followed 3i slash Atlas since the first alert. The earliest came from a backyard telescope in Pune, India, where Priya Raalo, a citizen astronomer, logged a pulse in the light curve, brightening and fading with a rhythm no comet handbook could explain. Her data, posted to a public forum, caught the attention of professionals. Soon, high-powered arrays joined the hunt. The oddities only multiplied. Photometric records show the object's brightness surging at intervals too regular for random outgassing. Each spike arrives with a sharp onset and a clean decay as if switched on and off by some unseen hand. Spectroscopy brought a second surprise. Instead of familiar water vapor lines, the dominant signature in every spectrum was carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide to water ratio topped eight to one, an order of magnitude above the most volatile rich comets ever logged. Alongside the carbon dioxide, the coma glows emerald green peaking at 516 nanometers. The color persists across instruments, confirmed by both ground-based and orbital spectrographs. Astrometric tracking, meanwhile, records micro-accelerations, tiny course corrections that don't line up with any known outgassing profile. The trajectory team's models break down. Some suggest jets or debris impacts. Others whisper about non-natural propulsion. 
The anomalies stack up. Rhythmic pulses, carbon dioxide excess, a green glow, unexplained nudges in the flight path, and in some spectra, a faint hint of nickel lines, an element almost never seen in such abundance outside laboratory glassware. Every new data set adds to the riddle. The question grows louder. Is 3i slash Atlas a comet with chemistry from some forgotten corner of the galaxy, or a machine engineered to mimic one? The blackout window is closing. Operators have to gamble, play it safe, or risk everything to catch the next anomaly before it slips behind the sun. The line between science and speculation for six hours is razor thin. Red Watch's lead controller calls for buffer status. Every orbiter's solid state recorder is ticking upward, megabyte by megabyte. MAVEN's IUVs racks up ultraviolet spectra at maximum cadence, pushing its eight gigabyte limit. The telemetry team juggles priorities, shuffling engineering logs to make room for a surge of comet data. Then, a spike. Radiation monitors on Mars Express trip a warning. Solar particles, high enough to trigger an automatic safe mode. 12 minutes of blackout. Instruments freeze, shutters close, and the spectrometer's last sweep cuts off mid-integration. Those minutes will never be recovered. On the comms loops, voices stack. ExoMars TGO's relay team rehearses a contingency. If Mars Express doesn't recover, TGO will attempt to mirror its observation sequence. No time for debate, just a hasty upload of pre-scripted commands. Data packets pile up in onboard memory. The schedule leaves no slack. If the buffer fills, the oldest science is overwritten, erased before Earth ever regains line of sight. Controllers scan the risk ladders, gamble on longer integrations for a shot at the nickel lines, or throttle back for safety. MAVEN's autonomy routines hover at the threshold. One more thermal spike, and the spacecraft will abort the sequence to protect itself. Each decision is logged, timestamped, and committed to memory. There's no undo, no second pass. The relay window is a cliff edge. Tension spikes as a rhythmic pulse appears in the real-time photometry. The object brightens, then dims, as if signaling. Operators debate whether to compress and prioritize the anomaly, risking partial loss of context data. The clock is merciless. Every megabyte counts. In the control room, knuckles whiten over keyboards. Six hours, and the fate of the most anomalous flyby in memory hangs on a string of buffer warnings, and the hope that no new crisis will force a final, irreversible purge. The blackout ends, and the first fragments of raw data hit global servers. What arrives is a patchwork. Spectra cut off mid-sweep, photometry logs with entire intervals missing, and compressed packets flagged with error codes. The promised open science release lands hours behind schedule. Forums ignite. Some accuse the agencies of scrubbing signals. Others demand complete transparency. The official pledge is clear. Every bite, every anomaly, no matter how strange, will be shared. But the gaps are impossible to ignore. Analysts pore over the incomplete logs. MAVEN's ultraviolet spectrograph recorded a final pulse, brightness spiking, then dropping to baseline in a single frame. Mars Express's data halts with a 12-minute void the signature of an automatic safe mode. ExoMars TGO's relay packets, queued by the hundreds, show repeated compression failures as buffers filled to capacity. The missing minutes become instant legend. On social media, speculation runs wild. Citizen scientists dissect the pulse intervals, mapping them against known codes, searching for patterns. Has something been hidden? Were the anomalies natural or evidence of intent? In a live-streamed panel, a MAVEN spectral analyst faces the question head-on. All explanations are on the table. We see energy dispersions and carbon dioxide levels that nothing in our current comet models can explain. Open science activists press for the unfiltered dumps, 
They post side-by-side -side comparisons, highlight discrepancies, and call out the agencies for what they see as selective disclosure. Meanwhile, conspiracy channels claim the gaps are proof of censorship, fueling a new wave of viral theories. The data, incomplete and ambiguous, refuses to settle the debate. Instead, it fans the fire. The mystery of 3i Atlas grows, not shrinks, with every packet released. The story is far from over. In just six hours, Mars orbiters recorded over 22 terabytes of data as 3i slash Atlas passed within 0.19 astronomical units of the planet on October 3, 2025. Scientists documented a bright emerald coma, carbon dioxide levels beyond any known comet, rhythmic pulses, and unexplained micro-accelerations, all verified in mission logs and raw spectral files. Yet a 12-minute data loss during a radiation spike and the agency's delayed release of raw files left key moments unaccounted for. As of today, experts disagree. Some call these anomalies signs of exotic chemistry, while others point to possible engineered origins. The official record, including the statement from MAVEN analyst Dr. Klein, all explanations are on the table, remains public. The 3i slash Atlas event stands as a documented reminder. Even with the best instruments and protocols, the universe still delivers mysteries science cannot yet resolve.